some fun things to share with you today. I got some new molds. And the one is this owl, which I'm trying to get into the... I got poison apple, working on an order. This one um, I did, I'm going to do two layers. There'll be a layer of clear back here just to kind of fill in that. Look how cute. So I just filled the mold with a thin layer of clear and then put the leaves, place them one at a time. And then I dumped the stars on top of that and added more clear. So we have a little star fall owl. And this one, I just did the leaves and left and just placed a couple of stars. But it has a lot of bubbles in it, so it's not great. Here is the apple. Look at that color. So the purple is mica mixed in with the resin, and then the apple part is um, a glitter that I will show you in a minute. So there is a better look at the glitter. I need to put a, another layer of um, black, or maybe I might do the purple on the back um, because the glitter is very, because I just mixed the glitter in with clear so you can see right through it. So as you can see, I have another version of the apple that I just started working on here. And then I got these awesome wing trinket dishes in. And I tried my hand at using alcohol inks, and I love how that looks. It's so pretty, very pretty. And then this is the opposite. So you can see they are a matching pair. So this one is the opposite, and I poured those mica flakes that I love so much onto the mold, like literally just like dumped them right here because I wanted the um, the bowl of the dish to be those flakes. And then I poured clear resin. Bless you. Are you done? <laughs> if you heard that, that was Anna sneezing. <laughs> um, where was I? Okay, so I poured clear resin after I dumped the mica directly onto the mold, or the, not the, yeah, the flakes, mylar, not mica, mylar. Um, I then poured clear resin over top of them and let the resin like run down into the mold. So it took a few of the mylar shards with it. And then to get some color um, and depth to the piece, I dropped ink onto the center and then kind of swirled it around so the bottom would be darker. And it is super cool. This was totally an experiment just to see how it would work and playing with the new molds. And I love them. These are so pretty. So pretty. I have so many ideas with these molds. So many ideas. I can't even, can't even stand it. But I'm a little sad because I dripped some ink onto the outside of the mold. And since it's alcohol ink, it doesn't come off. That's okay. The mold still works. It's just not very pretty now. But that's okay. It did not damage it at all. And I wanted to show a couple of pieces that I made. This awesome little sea turtle. I love how he turned out. I made a little mistake there, but he's for me. So I love how it turned out. Really pretty. I mixed glitter and mica on this piece. 
So you have the extra colors and I poured clear so it would show through the back. I love it. And then I have a Jack. If you're on Facebook, you saw these pieces already. So here is Jack. Super cute. He is a keychain, but of course can be um, a magnet can be added to the back for a cover minder. Same with Groot. This one, I painted the mold with the mica and then poured clear resin over the top, or not clear resin. Um, I mixed the blue into the resin and then poured that. That is so cool. I love that technique. You just paint into the mold, into the little cavities, and then it just sticks like magic. How pretty. Let's see through the piece. So pretty. This was the first one I did. I mixed in some brown ink and white the pearl mica because I didn't have the colors yet. So I did very little bit of the brown ink into that and then poured him so his body is a different color from the background. And then I added a little bit more brown and poured the rest. Turns out really cool. And then to get the black lines, um, you actually paint acrylic paint over the top of it and like rub it down into the grooves. And that's what gives you the detail on these pieces. And then of course I coat it again with another layer of resin. Now this one, I'm so bummed because he, his outfit is perfect. So what my plan was on this was I was going to, I poured, this is black mica that I poured the whole mold with. And my plan was to paint, um, which of course his outfit, it worked perfectly, but his face was really blotchy. You could see, and then I got messy and got down into the crevices. So I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to save this piece because his outfit is perfection. I just have to figure out how to do his face um, to save this piece. I'm, I'm hoping I can pour just his head and, you know, trim out just his head and like place it on top. So it's like a 3D piece. I know this may just have to go in the trash. I don't know. I'm sad though. And then this mold is a snow globe, which is going to be so much fun. This is left over from the apple. You can see more of it. It's got a really cool color shift to it. Green, black, yellow, orange. Very cool color shifting there. But I'm really excited about this. I have a lot of ideas for this mold. I could actually do, oh, almost. He almost fits. Oh, if I squish him down in there, he fits. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right, now for the real reason you are here. Let me move these guys out of the way before I end up getting something in them. Okay. I'm so excited. We took a road trip over the weekend and went about an hour and a half south to a town called Lake Wales. If you have heard of Legoland, it's actually about 10 or 15 minutes away from Legoland. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so here's the excited. Oh, wait a second. This is more wet resin. I am so, so excited. I have way too much stuff up here now. Get out of my way. Molds are in the way. Diamond paint that came in the mail which I'm pretty sure I already have it's a duplicate, which really annoys me when I do that. Okay. Are we ready? Nope. Intruder alert, intruder alert. Okay. La, la, la. And again, if you were on Facebook, you saw that I was here at the store or that I went here. Um, oh, happy meal toy. Isn't she cute? Have you seen these yet? These are so cute. Uh, Joy is, of course, 
I love Joy. Look how cute they are. It's adorable. It's just a little bag clip. Super cute. Okay, are we ready? Should we just dump? All right, so this first one I'm going to show you is the one that I used on the apple. It is the Dragon Scales. And you can see the way they do the name. It shows you that it's a color shift. Also, it says color shift, but it shows you that it's green to orange. But it actually has more than just the green and orange in there, as you saw on this piece. I love this glitter. When I saw this, I immediately thought of my apple. And I knew it needed to be the apple color. Because, you know, it's not going to be a, a, a cartoon. They show it's a beautiful red apple. But if it's poisoned, really, do you really think it's going to be beautiful and red? No. All right, we're just going to dump. Ready? I went crazy because I had to make it worth the trip. <laughs> So first you can see I got some new hippo friends. I don't know why I like these so much. I'm just, I'm a sucker for like collectibles and little tchotchkes. I placed an order last week and I got the crystal one. So she's up here hanging out with my first two. So the first one I got was the glow in the dark. And then I got the black one and then I got the crystal one. And my original plan, because I didn't really think we would actually drive down there to the store because uh, I just didn't think we would do it. Um, I was going to get one hippo every time I placed an order. So that would be like my little like, you know, how many orders have you placed? Well, they had these new colors and I really liked it. And of course I needed red and green because those are my favorite colors and the purple was really pretty and Steve was like just get them all <laughs> and then he's so bad he's like is that all you're gonna get well I could get more but I won't now I don't have anywhere to put them this is the bad thing I only had space on my little shelf for the three and I have my flower drying cup there so I can put three more. If I move my flower drying cup, I can put three more in the next little, I have like a little cubby hole shelf there, but then my, he, he's all, he doesn't have anywhere to sit. And I don't think, ooh, I can pyramid him. Ha ha, I pyramided her. Not ideal, but she's going to sit like this. <laughs> I told I sent my mom a message while we were at the store and I was like, I need a shelf for my hippos. She's like, tell your dad. I'm like, well, tell him you're sitting right there beside me. So anyway, all right. So here is what I got. Oh, he gave me another one of those. I love these. I love these. This came with my first order. I didn't get one with my second order. But I love these little shovels. And these are different color. Oh, no. So this was the ones that I got the first order. And you can see the, these are much brighter. What did I drop? What did I drop? I don't even see it. Hang on. Hang on. Going down. Oh, it's a decal. So solarcolordust.com. Or Glitter Hippo is where these come from. You can go to either place. The Solar Color Dust is more um, the, the, the color dust, but the Glitter Hippo has pretty much everything. So this is a hologram, one of those changing. He's so cool. And then we have the business card that has the little guys on there. And then I got Shimmer Glitter Rose Petals. So that's a sample. So I'll have to open that up later and see what that looks like. So let's put these back in here. And let's take a look at the ones I got. Oh, and he gave me 
a collectible coin. It's actually a $5 credit to the store. And he's like, but people like to collect them. I'm like, ah, how did you know I was a collector? Oh, I was on ringing up for plastic hippos that I have no way, no real need for. All right, so first of all, this I'm really curious because it says pigment that changes color with cold. So it says vanilla to black, and it really intrigued me. I have no idea how it works. I have not um, seen it in action, and I probably should have asked him a couple of questions, but um, you can mix this into the resin, and then the piece will change color, theoretically. So I tried this one. This is the first one I've gotten. So here is Dragon Scales. I love the, I just love the, I, the hippo is just so happy and sweet. So this is Color Shift Chunky. This is called Obsidian Pearl. And let's get it in the light just right. So you can see it's black and purple and blue. And these are little um, hexagons. There are different sizes. I can get this just right so you can see it. There are little tiny dots and then the hexagons. Well, they're actually little tiny hexagons and a little bit bigger hexagons. So that one's really pretty. This one I fell in love with so hard. It is called Bouncy Ball and it is chunky mix, but it's more along the lines of the Mylar flakes and it is so pretty and pastel. There's purple, blue, yellow, pink, orange. It's just so, so pretty. So there's that one. And this one I love. It's called caramel corn, but when I saw it, I immediately thought of candy corn. Look how fun that is. It's got um, yellow mylar flakes in it, white hexagons, and then like a fluorescent pink tiny hexagon. This is going to be a really fun, really fun piece, or piece, mix. Um, next, we have this one. I don't know why this is so fat. I guess there's just a lot of air in it still. Um, it's called Medusa, and it is the green Mylar Flakes. So Then, let's see, I'm trying to be picky about, here we go. I'm trying to stick with all the similar colors. This is called Geode Scent, which is kind of weird, but it is another color shift. Goes from green to purple. There's the green. Green and purple. I love it. Love it. So pretty. Okay, then let's see. <laughs> la, 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 la. Okay, then I got a couple of the thermal glitters. This is black to purple. And it's a really pretty, like, grayish purple color. So this, um, changes color with heat. So let's see, you can see it there. So let's get my heat gun out and we'll see what happens. So you can see it turned into a really pretty bright purple. Now you ready? Watch. Oh, I guess I heated up too much of it. I was hoping some of it would be like mixed. Isn't that cool? I love it. And then this is sky blue and it should change to white. There it goes. Isn't that neat? So it goes from blue to white. These are just so much fun. I don't know how much these would actually work in, um, you know, with pieces, but 
Now this is UV, so this changes color in the sun. You just gotta take my word for it because I am not going outside. It is 100 degrees outside. So you can see it goes from green to red. I'm actually kind of excited to try that. Where's the other one? I thought I got two thermals. No, I guess I didn't. Okay, or not thermals, but UV. I only got one UV. So this one is a glow in the dark. This is candy corn, and it is just a white, but it has a yellowish orange glow when it glows in the dark. Then I got some shapes. So this is holographic. If you know me at all, you know I love all things hollow. So these are little butterflies. Look at that color of the rainbow. So beautiful, can't stand it. Okay, so there's that. Sorry, put this just now. Also, this is a weird thing about me, and I had cannot tell you why, cannot tell you what started it, but I have an addiction. Yeah, well, it's not so bad anymore. I collect playing cards. So every time I go somewhere, like a theme park or a new state, I have to get a set of playing cards that reflect that. Um, I also, I think I showed you guys this a long time ago, but I found this mold that makes, and I haven't done it yet because I haven't taken the time, it makes a tiny, tiny playing card. So you can actually put the pieces together or use them for shaker inserts. But look how small that is. I love it. So cute. But like I said, I haven't done anything with it yet because I've just not taken the time to focus on it. So I found... clubs and spades, and diamonds and hearts. So I had to get them. So we have red holographic hearts. We have red diamonds. They are really small. There you go. Then we have Black, of course, holographic spades. Look at the color. Uh, and then we have holographic clubs. They're so cool. So I have the my coffee table is one of those um, like old time, not old time, but old fashioned kind of. Um, Okay, I have no makeup on, don't be scared. My hair is a mess, but instead of staring at my mat, I figure I can talk to you. So anyway, what I was saying, um, my coffee table is this big, huge square um, table and it's got drawers on each side of it. So the two bottom drawers, which are deep, they're like, yeah, they're probably about that deep. Yeah, cool, I'm playing cards. And I'm telling you, it's ridiculous. I have just about every playing card you can imagine. And I found these really cool poker ones that's like a hand in one card. No, no idea how to play it, but I bought them because they were playing cards. But anyway, so um, when I saw these, I was super excited. Look how tiny. Look how tiny those diamonds are. You can see them up here in the seal. But anyway, I had so much fun going to the store. The um, the people there are just amazing. Super nice. So cool. I mean, he stood there and talked to Steve while I shopped. And Emily and I ran around and took pictures like goofballs. But it, we had a blast. Um, the mall is pretty sad like most malls are these days. But it was nice and quiet. There weren't a lot of people there, so it was nice. I had the whole store to myself. I got to walk around and Google and awe and, but anyway, 
So I will definitely be going back down there. Probably not for a while. But, um, yeah, so that's that. That's my glitter haul. I hope you had fun listening to me be a goofball. And um, check out Etsy because I'm going to add some new stuff this week. Um, I have to just make myself do it. It's really like labor intensive because you got to take the pictures and you got to edit the pictures and you got to load them and you got to type in everything. I just need to sit down and do it. Um, I've just been too busy either working on my diamond painting or working on these or actually crocheting. I picked up a project. I'll try to remember to insert a picture at the end of this video. This blanket has been in timeout um, for over a year. I'm not sure quite how long, but it's been a long time. It's been sitting up on top of my, um, my yarn boxes just, and I'm just been ignoring it because this thing, it's a stained glass graph and there are 30 different bobbins attached to this blanket at this moment. 30. Yeah, let that sink in. That's 30 pieces of yarn attached to this blanket at one time. So um, it was all tangled and messed up and just, I didn't have a good system. It was just all the bobbins were just laying in a basket. So I got the brilliant idea to buy a laundry basket um, cause I, surprisingly, I do not own a laundry basket. We use hampers and we just carry the hamper to the laundry room and that's how we do our laundry. So I went and bought a laundry basket. They're $7. $7 for a laundry basket. <laughs> I was like, what? I was thinking like three, four dollars in it. That's how long it's been since I bought a laundry basket. But anyway, um, so I went and bought a laundry basket and I spent probably two, close to three hours, um, untangling, sorting, re-rolling the bobbins and placing them in the laundry basket with the, I had to cut them all off, which I really didn't want to do because then I had knots that I didn't want because I have to knot the you know, the pieces back together. Oh my gosh, such a nightmare. So I have been focusing on that blanket, trying to get it done. I have 80 rows left. It's just going to be a small blanket, thank God, because I think I would go insane if this was a full size blanket. But um, yeah, so I haven't taken the time to um, load up some Etsy stuff, but I do have some new things to load. I have the Gubatames that I made, which are super cute. Do you want to see those? I'll show you those. I will show you. That's my new, those are all molds. I have this top drawer that has stickers for resin pieces. And then this, I'm using this as my um, shelf for when I work on my diamond painting. So this is my diamond painting. And then this is pieces I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. And then um, this is kind of like embeds. And then the bottom six drawers are all molds, which I'm going to have to redo now because I got these new these molds and they're kind of bulky, so I don't know where they're going to fit. But anyway, so here is my broken yoke. Guretame. It didn't really quite work out like I had envisioned it, but I don't know. These are my first pieces, so they're super cute. Or just, I mean, they're super cute, but they're kind of. So here is this guy. And then here is this one. He's so cute sitting with his knees pulled up. So funny. I just love this little character. He is just so much fun. So those, um, I think I'm going to put these up. They're huge, as you can see, so they will definitely keep your cover in place if you want to use it as a cover minder, or um, it can just be, you know, just something cute. I would love to get one of those little miniature um, pans and, like, put this in it, and that would be, like, 
I tell you, I'm just, I'm a mess. But anyway, so that is that. Um, yeah. I'll see you soon. Bye.